This is Helen, a 14-year-old boy. He has dark circles under his eyes that make him look like he never slept. He doesn't care much about his messy black hair, he doesn't spend time getting ready. He sits at the end of the class by the window. He's always drawing, it is his only passion. He is a lonely person who doesn't like to socialize. This is Tom, they're dragging him down the hall again. Tom is always being picked on and it isn't because he's ever done anything, it's just because people have that habit. The situation repeats itself often and Helen, like all his other colleagues, knows it. Even though he feels bad for Tom, he doesn't want to interfere because it would make him a nuisance. This is Judy, the most popular girl in class. She has lost her watch and is looking for it. Where is my watch? Has anyone seen it? Helen is ignoring her, not interested. Suddenly, someone sees something that shines in Helen's backpack. What is this? Ben said as he reached into his backpack and pulled out a watch adorned with rhinestones. Helen is very surprised. How the hell did the watch get in his backpack? Oh, that's my watch! Judy says as she looks at Helen with a strange look. It wasn't me, Helen says, continuing to draw without lifting his head. Yeah, sure, Judy says, storming out of class with Ben. The next day, as always, Helen is at his table drawing. There is a strange atmosphere. People whisper things about him. The word thief sounds in the air. He decided not to say anything because no one would believe him. Days go by and Helen continues to be the focus of the class. One morning, Ben picks up his sketchbook. Always doing these nonsense things. Ben says as he grabs a few pages and tears them to shreds. At that time, Helen is transforming. His drawings are the most precious to him. He gets up and punches Ben out of his hands. Helen isn't strong, so he takes a good beating. His face is all battered. Nobody does anything. When the teacher arrives, everyone is sitting in their place. But Helen Otis, what happened to you? It was nothing, I fell down the stairs, says Helen. At home, he repeats that he has fallen from the stairs. His parents think that he is a normal boy who loves to draw and with lots of friends. The bullying at school continues through the weeks. Helen doesn't think a bloody mix-up with a watch would lead to this situation. Who blamed him in the first place? Hi, are you there? Helen has just received a message from an unknown user on Facebook. Who are you? I'm Tom, your classmate. Tom had never talked to him before, so he's surprised. What's going on? Helen wrote. Um, are you alright? You don't care. I know you don't feel well. You're in the same situation as me. I really want to help you, but I don't know what to do. I'm sorry. After that, Tom and Helen continue to talk. Helen likes to have someone to share his things with. He even jokes around using the smiley face emoji. It's the first time Helen has a friend. Come meet me on the roof after the first hour is over. We need to talk. Don't ask. Following his instructions, Helen goes with Tom to the roof. Hey Tom, what's happening? Mm, I have to tell you something. Something important. Do you remember the incident of the stolen watch? How was he going to forget? That was the beginning of his suffering. Helen nods. I was the culprit. Tom looks down. What? Helen was surprised. I stole Judy's watch and I blamed you. Why did you do that? I wanted to create a new victim. My life is much better now that everyone bothers you. Tom smiled. Helen can't believe what's happening, grabs Tom by the collar of his shirt and gives him a little push, causing him to end up near the edge. Tom slips and falls tragically. Helen tries to help him, but he doesn't have the strength. Ah! So sorry. The police arrive, they're questioning Helen. He's in shock and can barely speak. Everyone thinks that Tom killed himself. After all, he's a sad boy that everyone messed with. Helen is crying in his room. He feels guilty. Suddenly, a thought crossed his mind. It's not my fault Tom died. He deserved to die. This makes him feel so much better. Helen smiles creepily. Tom has had his punishment. I guess it's about time the others had theirs, huh? His crying turns into a smile covered by darkness and a thirst for revenge. It's Halloween and there is a party the next day. Of course, Helen is not invited. Judy and Maggie, the second most popular girl in the class, live together in a residence and are preparing the costumes for the party, each in their room while chatting. Who's coming to the party? I'm so excited. Most of her class will be there. I sent many messages to Ben and they came out as red, but he never answers me. What will happen to him? Oh, he's probably busy. Something weird is going on. I'm hearing strange footsteps towards my door. I think someone's loitering. Do you want me to go there? 
Using the peephole in the door, Maggie sees something unusual. Oh my gosh, there is a guy outside with a mask and a blue jacket. He has a knife and it's stained with blood. No, it's pounding on my door. Oh god, oh god, oh god, take it easy and find a weapon or something. Protect yourself. I'm scared, what should I do? Maggie, save me. Maggie, calm down. Maggie, are you there? Maggie? The message has been read, but Judy doesn't see Maggie's response. Suddenly, Judy hears the sound of her door opening. She turns around and screams in fright. A person with blood on his mask and a blue jacket breaks into her room and stabs her. That night, all the students invited to the party were killed. Nobody knows what happened. The killer used the blood of the victims to paint the smiley face emoticon on the walls. Many of the corpses were mutilated and ground up, possibly to get more pigments. Helen Otis, the culprit, is still missing. However, in the chat where Judy and Maggie were talking, a message was left after Judy's death. Don't be excited about tomorrow, because there will be no tomorrow. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And if you want to see more Draw My Life videos, subscribe to our channel. See you in the next episode!